Hello, welcome back to Linus Wednesdays, where we look at Linus tips and tricks on a Wednesday. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to do keyframing and animation in Caden Live. So here I've got a clip I shot on my iPhone, which we used in the uh, simple fade on Caden Live. And when I play the clip, it's just me walking up a road, shooting a video on my phone. Now let's add some green screen footage. So this is the butterfly green screen. And we'll play that one. You'll see now the butterfly is overtaking the video. I want to key all the green out. So if I go to effects and type in chroma, and then we're going to click on chroma key basic, and we're going to drag that to the butterfly clip. Click on the butterfly clip. Click on uh, this pipette here, and click on the green. And there we go. The butterfly will now play behind or over the video. But what I want to do is make this butterfly a bit smaller. So under the effects, I can type in transform. And I can drag the transform effect over to the butterfly. Click it again, and let's make this butterfly smaller. And we'll put the butterfly starting, say, there. So now when it plays, the butterfly is nice and small in the corner. But let's animate the butterfly and make it fly up the screen. So if I click on the uh, butterfly green screen effect, you'll see we've got here this effect. And what that is, is keyframing. As long as your effect has got this in there, you should be good to go with your keyframing. So I press this one here, which goes to previous keyframe. You'll see it's jumped to the beginning of the, uh, beginning of the clip. Now if I press this one here, it goes to the next keyframe and it goes right to the end of the clip. And I can press the plus button and you see there, diamond shape there and a diamond shape there. On this screen here, I can click on the plus and I can drag that up to say there. Now when the video clip plays, you'll see the butterfly, look at that, that's cool, is flying up the screen. Now, if I want to make the butterfly fly all, all around the screen, I can click on the chroma key effect again, and I can move the uh, position, say, to there, and I can press on the plus, and I can drag that one to there. I can move it to, say, there, press on the plus, drag it to there. I can click on the last keyframe. And so I want that up to there. Now when it plays, it comes on the screen. It should start changing. There we go. That's flying up the screen. Look at that. It looks all right. Now that's how to basically do keyframing and animation in Caden Live. If you click on the butterfly green screen, again, to remove the effect, just click on one of these keyframes, say that one there, and we're going to press on the minus. So now when it plays, it'll just fly there and go up to there. And I want to remove, say, this one. And we're going to press the minus. So that would be what we originally set it as. That was how to do keyframing and basic animation in Caden Live. If you found the video of some use, if you know what to do, give it a thumbs up. But if you don't like the video, I suppose that other button seems to work too. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.